Give me a Mount Rushmore basketball. Give me a Mount Rushmore football. Wideouts, football, or, no, you or can, it, players? We can do, I'm, I'm, I'm going to ask you your top five wideouts. You can do all time or you can do current. Uh-huh. But I want you to give me your Mount Rushmore NBA players, okay. Mount Rushmore NFL players. Okay. Um, I always, you like know, the, four, four, four heads. Who on. I think is the greatest or my favorite? NBA. G- give me uh give me your my whoever whatever how you want to list it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, I, obviously MJ at the top. I I probably go. I probably go Brian second. Kobe. For me, my my favorite basketball player growing up was Allen Iverson. Okay. So and that's that's where I get the the shake from and the, and what I brought over to the football world right as ahead. well. So so for me, AI is going to be probably fourth and fifth. I could throw in my other favorite, which is probably going to shock a lot of people. Well, it shouldn't, but if if you know me and, and the way that I play basketball, Darren Williams was was one of my okay. favorite basketball players. Oh, Utah. So yeah, so that's 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 the guys that I that I like the most. If I had to do the greatest, it would maybe just probably swap out uh, the fifth and. Got Magic, Bird, Giannis, KD, yeah. Shaq. Uh, yeah, I probably I probably have to say I was I was going back green. and forth. I was going back and forth. See, I'm and and forgive me on the outside world if, if y'all don't feel the same way, but I I never have felt obligated to throw in old greats just because they were founding fathers. Okay. I truly think that you gotta put the best basketball players and if I feel that you know, this guy is better than than Magic or better than, and I'm not saying specifically him, right. but whoever. I'm going to say who I feel like I like the most. Okay. So I, I I didn't watch Kareem the way that maybe you watch Kareem. Okay. So I'm Correct. not going to yeah. put Kareem in there. Okay. He's by far one of the best of, of all time. Mm-hmm. And that's, I mean, the numbers say it, the legend, all of that. But if I'm picking for me, I would probably say Shaq over, over Kareem okay. for me. You're not going to get much argument from that. Okay, give me a Mount Rushmore wide receivers. Randy, Jerry, Calvin, T.O., and probably Marvin. You only get four. Oh, that's oh, I, oh, I thought you said top five. You said Rob, uh, Mount Rushmore. Mount Rushmore okay. wide receivers. Top five. Uh, I'm gonna let you have top. Okay. I'm gonna let you have top five wide receivers. Got you, got you. So, so your top five wide receivers all time is Randy, mm-hmm. Jerry, yeah, T.O. Megatron. Calvin, Calvin third. Calvin third. Mm-hmm. T.O. four. T.O. four. And Marvin Harrison fifth. Yep. That's that's where I'm at with my, my top five. And I guess I guess uh we're gonna put Marv on the on the bench if, if it's just a <laughs> rush more. So, so, <laughs> so Marvin gotta Marvin gotta come in if somebody get hurt, get nicked. Hey man, he I think he he under, he'll understand what I what I'm getting at. You know, I, I love the fact that I'm saying his name, I mean it's a lot of receivers to play this game. Ooh. So it's it's real tough. And that's another one that I was kinda on the on the tail end of being able to watch, and mm-hmm. I still have them in my top five. Right. So that should that should tell you, as me being, you know, I'm 31 years old. Right. I feel like most people are gonna be talking about Marvin gonna be 41 years right. old. Right. What do you feel your responsibility as a receiver? As a, because a lot of times, and 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 sometimes quarterbacks don't take this approach. My job is not to get him ready. Mm-hmm. But uh, MVS gave you a lot of credit. That says you taught him how to run the routes. You taught him how to be professional. What role do you think you play? You play as a veteran, guys, helping the young guys get ready to play. I mean that my leadership role is is been prevalent for, I mean, really since about I would say honestly 20, 2017, probably the year before Marquez and them got in the league. Mm-hmm. That's when it got to a point where I was the you know for sure the the number one guy, and and it was it was essentially my show on offense. So. I've I've been real secure about myself as a player, so I, I don't I don't feel like me going in or I'll say this, I feel like I'm doing a disservice to the team and my and the and my fellow wideouts by not giving them all the knowledge that I've gotten. Because honestly, a a part of what's making it harder year by year is when you know so much and you and you truly understand the game, 
you can't just be coached by just anybody. Right. Because now I'm, I'm not just about to buy in. Like if you come in the league and you don't know much, it's easy to have whatever coach. You got this old dude telling you this and that. Yeah. You just going to go because he's the coach. Right. But once you have real experience and you really know yourself, and I've learned from some real gurus. Right. Keith Williams, my receiver coach from Fresno State, who's with the Saints now. Right. He's taught me 90 percent of what I know it, mentality wise, technique, all of that to where now walking into a room I got to be with a guy like Edgar Bennett that he understands that I know so that we work together when it's time to you know put together the the individual uh, part of, of practice we right. talk about what drills you want to do because I'm not about to get out there and do no drills that that's not gonna help me in the game it got to translate I'm looking at dudes working out in the offseason these dudes working out with with the the, the wide out prints and in and, and king routes and, and this and that I'm like who is that dude? Why have we not seen him run routes in the league if right. he if he know all this? You know what I'm saying? And and it don't always mean that you had to have played to be a good coach. So right. I'm not saying that. But when I see a dude simulating a, a kick return and they throwing trash cans at him, I'm like, what are we doing? How is that making you better at football? So you can you can say you're getting it in, and yeah, you're doing you just say you're doing cardio because right. you're not getting better at football. You, it's better than sitting at the crib, right? But you ain't getting better at football, and right. I'm not about to be having nobody throw no trash cans at me in practice to simulate a defender trying to tackle me. Right. So having a guy like like EB and, and AP and being able to work with a coach in, in situations like that, I feel like it helps me be myself, which I can now share that on, you know, Trey Tucker or or Jacoby Myers and we work together. That way I can you know, shed all of the knowledge and the light that I have and, and help them. Like, it's, it's not one meeting that go by where we watching practice tape and I'm sitting here like this and I'm just sitting here just taking notes on what I'm doing. At some point, I'm going to be, hey, Tuck, like, you, if, if you're running this, like, make sure right before you at the top, like, I need a real hard burst. He got to feel that you're going mm-hmm. deep. If you're running that, that, that corner pump stop or whatever right. it is, that last piece, you got to sell that. It. That's what's going to get him to do it because these dudes always ask me, how you work on the releases? Like what drills you do? I say, you know what I do? Every single time I got a, a somebody pressing, I don't just take that as an opportunity to get lazy and just run around them or do some BS at the line. I'm I'm working every single time. And what that does in turn is instill fear in that man because now he know, oh, this the this the guy with the releases. So then half the time it just make it easy because these dudes just retreat because they didn't see me work so many dudes to where now it's just operation don't get abused versus try to be aggressive and really stop them. Yeah. And that just makes your job easier when you're in the driver's seat like that. Everything should be to set up everything else. Correct. I'm running. I'm running. I'm running. Trust me. When I run a particular route, mm-hmm. oh, I got another route in mind that I'm, that I'm running off this. Oh, 100%. you just don't know it. 100%. But it's gonna come up in the fourth quarter. Oh, yeah. I promise you. It is. And I didn't talk to these boys about my mentality. Like, I run a route because you ain't gonna be wide open on everything. No. So. You got to They guy. get paid too. They get paid too, man. They get a not like. Hey, you know That's what I used to tell my coach. Hey, you got to beat him on that. Yeah. I said, he got a check last week too. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I don't even know. So I'm going to share some light on something that I've never even shared. I've done a few podcasts, but I, I never even shared this. But I talked to my teammates about it and I be telling the DBs too. And they just laugh at me for it. But they understand and they, they know it's a whole different. It's a whole different cerebral approach to this game that I have. Right. I run a comeback on you right here. You may see it a little bit better than the next man and get on it. You might be in my hip pocket on it, right? right. I'm going to keep coming downhill. And if, I, if that quarterback don't throw that ball, I'm going to stick my foot in the ground so quick and make you think it was a double move and kill you on that right. when really it was just a comeback. Right. Right. But now your ass think you got killed after you thought you was on me. I done pumped it through the hand up and I'm jumping like, oh, the ball, I need the ball. When really you guarded that well. You, you had it covered. But now your ass think Played you got beat. Seed. So now you, it's going to make him different where I got comeback the next time. He, he going to be a little bit more apprehensive about bike jumping it. Exactly. So... Want to join Club Shay Shay? Become an official member by hitting that subscribe button where you never know who's going to be joining us for drinks and conversation. Don't be late to the party because you know we like to do something before two something.